experience. Through experience, we learn about ourselves and the world. The lessons gained help us to tune into our own potential. We begin to unlock and develop our own intrinsic motivation, our source of drive. I've had many lesson-packed experiences throughout my life so far, and I know I can count on some doozies to come. Every individual has a source of internal drive, an internal motivation to do, go, and become. Sometimes we can become discouraged or perhaps too comfortable, and we stop trying to do, go, and become. Instead, we stick to the schedule, the routine, accept what is, and we, and we ultimately stagnate. It happens to all of us, sometimes in minute ways, and others that could be devastating. Like I said, my, my life has been a journey thus far. Some experiences have stood out vividly as points, that are, point, as points in my life that are lasting lessons. As many young people, I have thought that the plan was to go to school, then college, get a good job, nice house, family, retire, and well, that's it. It seems simple, but when faced with untimely events, it can become a struggle. Life presents challenges, some that last over a period of years, others that are the lasting result of an instant, and still others that are instances themselves. At a young age, I was well-versed in the struggles of life. My father had abandoned his family when I was only three, leaving my mother, younger brother, and myself to survive in our little house in the woods with no transportation and little money. His explanation when he showed up suddenly years later was that he just couldn't handle it. This has been one of the lasting moments that have shaped me. The lesson here was to not believe in forever. This was the first of many lessons that would accompany hard times. But each struggle, each experience, was an opportunity to discover my ability and my drive. I persevered with my, along with my little family through some tough and difficult times. Life would get a little harder in 1996 when my little family got into a car accident. The accident left my mother disabled. My brother and I were more fortunate, each suffering injuries that would only prove minor yet lasting nuisances. The effects and reactions of my mother's incapacitation would be the second lasting lesson. You can survive. My mother is the strongest person I know, not only in willpower, but in heart. She taught me to keep going above all else because there will be better days. Better days do occur. But it has always seemed to me that the best lessons learned, the lessons that will last a lifetime, are those that are learned through struggle. They are the ones that become fixed in our memory and ignite a sense of ability, of perseverance, and of drive. Quoting Carol Dweck from her book Mindset, a person's true potential is unknown and unknowable. It's impossible to foresee what can be accomplished with years of passion, toil, and training. These experiences were my toils. They were my source of passion and my boot camp. One more tough time and lesson, and then there will finally be a very good day and a wonderful lesson to share. Through this event, through this tough event, um, it would be, yet a, again, one that has shaped my life. Over a period of years, events accumulated in my little family losing our home. We turned to local support and for a time, lived at the Goodwill Inn of Traverse City. During the time I spent there, I was ruthlessly teased and felt ostracized. I turned to my books and studies, finding solace and awaiting better days. Eventually, we would find a small place to rent and were able to move from the shelter. From living at the shelter and dealing with the stigma involved, I learned the art of tolerance and that everyone needs a helping hand. This lesson is vital. It is vital for all of us to help and be tolerant. This ability to be tolerant and a willingness to help can be the herald to many things when sincerely offered. Each opportunity is yet another chance to tune into yourself and engage your drive. I became involved with my new middle school and, found, and made a few friends. Yet I was weary due to the prior, my prior encounters with the stigmas cruelly enforced by school children. I studied hard and became involved in the school's chapters of Builders Club. 
In the three years of middle school, I was the secretary, vice president, and the president. My dedication to the club, financial need, and overall sense of drive set me apart from the student body. And here is the good day, and the lesson learned from a moment of pure happiness. I was awarded the Northwestern Michigan College Commitment Scholarship. I had a two-year full ride waiting for me at, at this wonderful institution when I graduated high school. From this experience, I was happy to learn that people recognize hard work and drive. The recognition and overall sense of personal ability makes it all worthwhile. I gladly took this opportunity, knowing that it would aid me in my path towards my future. Entering high school, prospects looked high. I was sure that I was going to graduate and go on to college and then, and then succeed in something that I loved, whatever that may be. I wasn't too sure at that point. Unfortunately, this is the point in my story where teenage angst gets the better of me, and I divert drastically from my path. I was 16. It was three weeks until the end of my freshman year of high school when I met a boy. Oh yes, a boy. A very troubled boy, indeed. I became all a Twitter-pated. I was sure at my young that I was in, I was sure that at my young age that I was in love and I knew exactly what I was doing. Sadly, I would realize later that I was indeed a very silly young girl, and I was wrong. <laughs> As I have said, he was a troubled individual. At the age of 17, he was already well on his way to becoming an alcoholic and well-versed in the judicial system. His home life was not a happy one. There was a stark absence of support. I had thought that I could help him and could offer that hand of support but he had yet to come, ter come to terms with his own demons, and only later did I recognize that I could offer him no help with that feat. Until he could overcome that inner, inner turmoil, the relationship was almost toxic. He took me to a different world, one that involved parties and fun, which left little room for things like school and studying. The relationship became consuming. Eventually, he would get caught for doing something juvenile and was sent to jail. Being a silly, emotional teenager, I took this as absolutely devastating. I became lethargic and depressed, ultimately making myself ill. I began to say, see no point in going to school or graduating for that matter. Eventually, I would come to realize that this was not the situation for me. I was not the person to give up and simply accept what was. This realization is what sparked and fully engaged my, my drive. I realized that I was a strong person who had already been through so much and who could succeed. I also knew that if I did not graduate, I would not be true to my commitment scholarship. So I re recommitted myself to my academics and my prior path to success. I distanced myself from the troubled boy with help from friends and family, realizing that I could not help him. The lesson here was that sometimes the help that you can offer is not the help that is needed, and that it is absolutely necessary to keep in check with the goals that are for you. Once I had committed, I became obsessed with my goal of graduating. I had to recover the seven credits I had forsaken, plus keep up with my current year's studies. Failure was not an option at that point. I went to school early, stayed late, participated in online recovery classes, correspondence courses, and the school to work program so that I could double and triple up on my credits, all while taking an AP history class that inspired a love of culture and history, thanks to a teacher who truly brought it all alive. I graduated on time and walked proudly with my class of 2009. Here, the lesson was that perseverance is key. No matter the struggle, keep on struggling, because even in because in the end, even if it all fell apart, you've learned more about the issue at hand, your own capabilities, and you've engaged your drive. Promptly after graduating, I jumped into classes at Northwestern Michigan College, where even more opportunities and experiences have been presented than I have ever thought possible. Who would think that taking a class would inspire a trip to Italy? Or another would create and link with amazing individuals that will last a lifetime? Or that it might inspire a career path. This journey would have never been possible had I not looked at my experiences as just that, 
experiences that could be learned from, I would have never had the perseverance and engagement of drive had I not looked and been thankful for the experience of life. I implore you all to explore and be thankful for the experiences, the moments, and the lessons, which are the instances that unlock, develop, and ultimately engage your drive. Thank you.